last time we was here, man, I was just talking about how um, y'all need to subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe, 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 hit that like button. Um, make sure y'all go to Blue Collar Cash. Y'all make sure y'all go to bluecollarcash.com. That's where you'll find all of the amazing merch, like this jacket. The color on this video keep changing for whatever reason, but the color of the jacket technically gold, but it's like yellow. Bluecollarcash.com, baby. <laughs> But I was talking about how motherfuckers be trying to compare light skinned women and dark skinned women. It really ain't no comparison. They all fine as fuck. That's just bottom line. Like, I done met some very, very sexy dark skins. I done met some very, very, very sexy light skins. It's just simple and plain. Light skinned bitches just seem to get more in love and fucking recognition and shit, but that don't make them better than the chocolates, bro, because I, I got some chocolates out there in this world, boy, hey. and my girl ain't necessarily chocolate, but she like in between chocolate and like light skin, so she like ate hey, motherfucking caramel or some shit, but we still on the rumor report by Breakfast Club, we just about to see what they say to close this thing out, but like I said, man, <coughs> stop trying to compare women to each other. They all beautiful, no matter how dark, no matter how light, no matter how big, no matter how small, they all beautiful. And I guarantee most men in the world have had sex with any one of them. If it came down to it and they needed some pussy or wanted some pussy, they go go get it from that dark skin or that light skin. It ain't gonna matter at that point in time if a nigga really desperate for some pussy. So let's just get that out of the way. But anyway, back to the show. It's your boy Tid two times. Blue collar cash. Make sure you cop that. Now Rob Newman told the Buffalo News that he was horrified by his own remarks after he listened back to them. But I can easily see how someone could be offended by that. I get that. It sounds terrible and it is terrible. Now, can I take back those words, no. If you listen to them, were they meant to be hurtful? Absolutely not. He said he wants to learn from this uh -uh. and that he is remorseful to anybody that would be hurt by what he said. I need to see what the show prep meeting was like, okay? <laughs> when y'all had that show like prep meeting. like he went off the rails. You think so? If I, you think, you think he went wrong? Like, how do you just think? Like, he had to be thinking about that at all. It's not clever at all. Not at all. Mm. Stupid. All right, Oscar De La Hoya has announced that he is making a comeback. He's 48 years old. He's retired, but he does plan to come back to sports. Here he is talking about it. I feel like it's something missing, man. I keep seeing you in the ring, but I don't see you in the ring. I mean, okay. talk to me. Why, why don't you, uh, I mean, you're, you're part owner of a trailer uh, fight club. Why don't you uh, no, tell I think, me? I think you should tell him, man. It's you, not me. Okay. July 3rd, I'm making my comeback. First of all, drop on the clues bomb for Snoop Dogg being part on that trailer. Mm -hmm. Smart man. Smart man to get in, uh, get in on trailer. Oscar De La Hoya was with Snoop Dogg, and they were doing the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren press conference on Triller, and that's where he announced his July 3rd fight. What y'all think? Who's he going to fight? He doesn't know yet. We don't I know. feel like he needs uh, he money. He didn't say yet. I think Oscar De La Hoya must need money. That's what I think. But he has Golden promotions. Boy promotions. Yeah, that does it. really well. Well, but think about it, though. When you see the money that Mike Tyson and, you know, Roy Jones Jr. make or Floyd, whenever they come out and do exhibition matches, it's kind of hard not to want to get out there and get some of that money. You know what I'm saying? Even if you may not necessarily need it, but these guys are getting tens of millions of dollars just to go out there and spar a little bit. Why not? He's getting that to not have to fight. Nah. I don't know if he's getting that much. Nah. Because I know he lost Canelo Alvarez. He still got Ryan Garcia, but nah, he... Trust me, to go out there and make a quick $20, $30 million, why wouldn't you go do that for eight rounds of nothing? Exhibition. Yeah, you hit the head and die? Man, they're not going out there to bang on each other like that. Roy and Mike didn't. Mm -hmm. Mike, took, Mike took it serious. You see, Roy was... was nah, Roy looked hurt after. Fight. Not after. Fight. But they said, you want to do a rematch? Roy said, I, I got to go home and talk to my wife about this one. Well, they put that money on the table. He'll come out there. Same thing with De La Hoya. You got to get the money. Why not? I mean, he owns a, a soccer team. He's worth like $200 million. You think he's doing that just to get a little money? What did Dana White say? A good friend of yours, Oscar De La Hoya, has announced he's coming out of retirement to box again. Cocaine isn't cheap. Gotta make money. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Top one of clues bombs for Dana White. Damn. That's racist, man. Why well, is that racist? racist? Because that's a stereotype of Latins and the cocaine and drugs and all that. No, it's not. Oscar De La Hoya does cocaine. If, if, if it was a black man and he said, oh, 
was crack about to be expensive, y'all would have Let me a ask you a question. That. Let uh, me ask you that. Does Oscar De La Hoya do cocaine? How do I know? Do you know that? You've never read the stories? I don't read the stories and I don't hang out with Oscar De La Hoya, but... Well, Dana know. White knows better. That's, that's not racist. That's racist. That's not racist. Nah, that's not racist. All right, guys, that's your rumor report. You, I've never heard that. I think he talked about him using cocaine before. Who? Oscar De La Hoya. Yes, he admitted the cocaine and alcohol used to the FBI. Yes, so that's Shut why up, he said it, you idiot. Every time you not know about your own people. I'm tired of you not knowing. Okay. That's somebody's cocaine use? Oh yeah. my god, that was he a big cocaine. story! Oh my god, that's racist! <laughs> he admitted it. Now what do you say? Apologize. That was a big story, man. Apologizing. Oh, you wrong, what but you want to apologize. That was a big story. <laughs> you know, guys, drugs are a problem in this country, and we can't just be sitting here making jokes oh, about it, okay? God. Apologize. You just said something was racist that clearly was. You guys, can we move on, please? <laughs> we have a time schedule here. Rumor report. Thank you. I jumped off the ledge a little bit. All right, there. All right, thank you. You ain't saying apologize. I had my coffee this morning. I'm sorry. Right. Charlamagne, we give that down to Absolutely. You know, by the way, the, 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 the Dana White comment was from last year. Just want to throw that out there. Oh, from last August year. Of 2020. Guys, we gotta oh, go. Yes, uh, donkey, going to a it's, a, it's a, it's a story about why you should make better choices when you're young. We'll discuss for after that. All right, it's Breakfast Club, come on. This entrepreneur brand logo was done by. All right, so as you can see, Breakfast Club was having a bit of a debate about whether or not uh, De La Osco, the Oscar De La, or whatever his name is, the boxer, is on drugs or not. Do you feel like it's racist for them to just assume that he's on drugs? Or is it because of allegations of his past? Who knows? All I know is, I ain't no fucking drugs. <laughs> Plus, I need y'all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. You hear me? But in the meantime, I got a question. Go hate. Please, please tell me. How you go hate? How you go hate, little bitch? How you go hate, little bitch? How you go hate on Ted two times? Don't kill yourself when he do shine. Save this rap, bitch, you lying. Lay with me, she let me ride. How you go hate? How you go hate, little bitch? How you go hate? How you gon' hate, little bitch? How you gon' hate on Ted two times? Don't keep stuck when he do shine. Say this rap, bitch, you lying. They with me and she let boo ride. Yeah. Ran that bitch back up. Cool cat, but I'm black, that's bad luck. Tryna stink if he fake, he gon' act up. I just laugh when they ask me to match one. Got back what you ask me to match for. Turn the pack, bitch, made you act slow. Ten and G must be copping the whole O. Got bang, got bang. Him ain't know he don't claim you You ain't stay home Shit that you can't do Never faking the phone for a fake hoe Bitch, I'm gonna jump off the damn porch But first what happens, I let go How you gon' hate, little bitch? How you gon' hate? How you gon' hate, little bitch? How you gon' hate on Ted two times? Don't kill yourself when he do shine Say this whack, bitch, you lying Baby with me and she let you ride How you gon' hate? How you gon' hate, little bitch? How you gon' hate? hate, little bitch? How you gon' hate on T two times? Don't kiss up when he do shine. Bitch, you lying. She let boo ride. You have no backbone. Get you down, then leave your ass home. After that, proceed to his next hoe. Bitch, I'm wondering why he changed clothes. He real, but really he ain't, though. You lying to bitches, I can't, bro. Go players, pimps, and gangsters. I'm a player, pimp, a gangster. Us cause they ain't us Come and find deep like Power Rangers Dangerous Act like you ain't us Keep that shit in the circle like ain't us Don't fuck with no Wranglers Where you came from My police go back where you came from How you gon' hate How you gon' hate little bitch Yeah How you gon' hate little bitch That right there that's how you go hey read this call how see it two times make sure you subscribe make sure you comment make sure you like make sure you share and all that you did